hello everyone welcome back to my channel thank you guys for always coming back to watch my video i want to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers thank you so much for your support and please if you have not subscribed to my channel please join the family subscribe press the notification bell to get notified whenever i upload a new video like and share this video in today's tutorial i'll be learning how to make this trendy cape top you can actually wear this top on its own as a gown you can wear it on on trouser, you wear it on a fitted dress. So let's get started. So, so the first thing I'll do, I'll fold my fabric in a diagonal form. So I'll fold it like this, like a flay. So let me fold it. So as you can see, I've folded it. This is the this is the front and this is the back. The same folding. So the next the next thing I'll do, I'll measure out 1.5 inches on this. On this center front why because at the front there's an opening at the front so that 1.5 inches that we have here we're going to be using it to fold the front like this the back there will also be a joining at the back so i'll just measure out 1.5 inches for both the front and the back although for the back we really do not need the 1.5 so i've ruled out 1.5 inches so we are going to be working on this upper side my shoulder measurement is 16. 16. When you divide 16 by 2, I have 8. So we we'll place it in a, we we'll place it where we are going to get 8. So we we'll place it where we are going to get 8. As you can see, this is my 8 inches. So this, I will mark it out. And I will also rule the line. So this So this is our 8 inches line. So as you can see, this is my shoulder measurement. So the next thing we are going to do is to take our neckline. So I'll be using three inches for the neckline. So I'll mark three inches. I'll mark three inches for the neckline. For the front neckline, I'll be using three inches. So for the back neckline, I'll be using 1.5. So this is for the back neckline. And this for the front neckline. So I'll connect the lines. And this for the back. So this is the front neckline and this is the back neckline. Then I will snap my shoulder by one inch. So I'll connect it from here. So this is my shoulder slope, as you can see. So the next thing I'll be doing, at this point, you take your, your, your measurement from your, as if you're taking your sleeve measurement to where you want your arm to come out. So I'll be using nine inches, as you can see. So on this part, I'll measure down nine inches. So, so this is my nine inches, as you can see. This is where my hand will be coming out from this particular point. So you can either measure 7 or 8 inches on this part. So I'll be using, let me measure out 7.5. Let me measure out 7.5 on this part. So this is where my arm will be coming out from. So I'll connect this line like this. I'll connect it in a round shape. As you can see. So on this part, you can decide to go in by one inch or half an inch to shape it. So I'll just go in by half an inch on this part. Then I'll just shape, create a shape like this. So this is it. This is where my hand will be coming out from. From this point to this point, I use nine inches. Then from here to this point, my hand opening. I use 7.5. Then I went in by half an inch or one inch to give it a shape, as you can see. So now I'll be measuring out the full length of the dress. And I'll start from this point to measure out the full length of the dress. And I'm using the full length of the Akara fabric. So that what I have here is 45 inches. So I'll measure this 45 inches round. 
so i've cut out the length as you can see so on this shoulder line i'll measure out half an inch so for me i'll just measure out half an inch i'll measure out half an inch like this then i'll just connect it to the line so the next thing we are going to do now is to cut out so now I'll be cutting out the back before I will cut out the front. So I will remove the back, then cut out the front neckline. So this is the front, so I will open it up. I will open the center front. We'll be cutting out the facing for the dress, or we can use our bias to turn the neckline. Before we cut out the facing for the front, this 1.5 inches, we are going to sew it. So we are going to sew it like this. You fold in quarter of an inch, then you sew it like this. So let me notch it. I will notch it. So now we are going to be sewing. We fold it like this, then we sew it down like this. Then we'll do the same thing for this other side. So remember my ham opening, I use 7.5. So I'll be increasing it, to, I'll be increasing it to nine inches. So I'll increase it to nine inches. I don't want it to be tight. So I don't want it to be tight, so I'll just draw the line. So before sewing, I'll be creating a space here where you can, in case you want to use your, in case you want to use belt, you can use belt because of the opening we are going to be creating now. So now from the shoulder line, I'll measure that 18 inches. 18 inches is my waistline. So I'll measure down 18 inches. Let me just rule it out like this. So this is my 18 inches, as you can see. So on this, my waistline, I will divide my waist measurement by four, which my waist measurement is 44. When you divide it by four, I have 11. So I'll just mark out 11 here. So this is my 11 inches. So for the belt, I'll be creating a space of three inches. So from this white line, I'll measure at 1.5 here. Then on this part, 1.5. So this line that we have here, I will cut this part open. So I will just draw a curve like this. A curve. So this is the curve. So I'll be cutting this part open like this. So this particular space we are creating, in case you want to use belt to wear the, the, the cape jacket. If you want to use your belt to wear the cape jacket, this is where you'll be fixing your belt. So now we'll cut this part open. So we just cut it open like this, not too much. So now I've opened this part. So I'll use my so I'll be using my bias to turn this part neatly and also the neckline. I also do the same thing for the neckline for the back. So I'm done turning the neckline. I've turned the neckline for the back. And I've, and I've also done the same thing for the front. And also, I've also sewn the... And I've also sewn the belt hole. So the next thing we are going to do now is to sew. So you place the front. So you also use your bias tape to turn this particular part where your hand will be coming out from. Do the same thing for the other side. So now we are going to sew. We sew this part from this point. We sew it all the way down to this point. Then we also sew this side from this point to this side. Then after sewing, I will fold the bottom of the dress. So that's what I'll be doing. I will also do the same thing for the other side. So I'm done sewing the jacket as you can see. So let me clarify some things. 
So the neckline for this jacket is high, so you can make yours as low as you want. And using bias for this jacket is optional. You can use your lining and you can use your facing. At this point, you can decide to add button or rope on the neckline or at the middle. It depends on what you want. Placing this bed hole here is optional also. If you don't want the bed hole, you can skip it. And from where my arm is coming out from this place, remember I, I took 7.5 before. I, 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 later, I took 7.5 before, but I later increased it to 9 inches because I don't want it to be too tight. And when you're sewing the shoulder, don't curve it too much. Just curve it a little. Don't sew it too curvy on the shoulder side. And for the length, you can determine how long or how short you want. You don't have to make it too long like this. So for the belt, if you have any belt, you can use your belt. If you don't have a belt, use a carrot to sew a belt, then use it on the jacket. So now I'll be wearing it to show you the final look. So this is the final look of the jacket. Very beautiful. You can wear it like this. You can attach rope to it at the neckline or at the middle of the jacket. As you can see, very beautiful. You can wear it which way you want. As you can see, very beautiful, very lovely. You can also use your belt. So this is how to use your belt. You place it from the front bring it out from in, inside then mm -hmm. from the other side also then you're done so guys i have another youtube channel called perfect fit craft in that channel I upload anything anywhere such as turban fascinator so if you know if you know you want to learn how to make things like that i'll be dropping the link at the description box please don't forget to like share and subscribe Learn how to make this lovely crown I'm wearing. Thank you for watching. See you in my next tutorial. Bye.